Hi, this is Larry Jordan. The following is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar looking at the new features in Apple Compressor 4.1. In this excerpt, I show you how to create a custom MPEG-4 compression setting. Now this time, I've got a woman in red, a nice uh, After Effects effect shot that I'm using for infographics over here, say, uh, training tips. I want to compress this, so how do I do that? I want to compress it using MPEG-4, so let's click on the plus key, go to a new setting, and this time we're going to set it to MPEG-4, we'll call it MPEG-4 for my website. MPEG-4, drag it on top of the clip you want to compress. By the way, you can drag multiple settings on top of the clip that you want to compress. You can have it be as many settings as you want to do at one time. If you need to delete a setting, simply highlight it, hit the delete key, hit the delete key, hit the delete key, select it to automatically load it in the inspector. The general tab is exactly the same. The video tab is different. Here, I'm going to select my selection. I don't want to publish that to YouTube, by the way, so let's just... Uh, to turn off a job action, select the job, go to the inspector, go down to where it says action, and set the action to do nothing. And that job action is removed. Click on the setting that you want to modify, go to the video tab. I want to change this and have it output 1280, 720. I want it to be square pixels, so we'll set it to square. I want the frame rate to be as is, so we'll leave that alone. Field order, it's progressive, we'll leave that alone. When you're compressing for Apple devices or MPEG-4 devices, it used to be we would have to compress for the baseline profile. Now we need to compress for the main profile. So set the H.264 profile to main. If you want the smallest possible file sizes, set it to CAVLC. If you want the best image quality, set it to CBAC. VLC is faster. BAC looks better. So I'm going to set it to BAC. Keyframe interval, again, it's three times your frame rate. We calculated that and decided it was 72. And so we, well, no, this is 30 frames times three is 90. Three times the frame rate for lots of movement, five times the frame rate for not so much movement. And data rate for 12... 80 by 720 picture is 2,000 pixels per second. So we've now got a compression setting for MPEG-4. What about audio? When you click the audio tab, if you are outputting music, you want to output that as stereo. If you're outputting a speaker, a person talking, output it as mono. They've only got one mouth. You only recorded them with one mic. They should play back on a mono channel. Keep in mind that mono comes equally out the left and the right speakers, so you don't have it just be out the left speaker or just out the right. It comes out both equally. But mono automatically cuts your file size in half. So in MPEG, I'll set the a mono file to 64 kilobits a second, a stereo file to 128 kilobits a second, this has been an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar taking a look at the new features inside Compressor 4.1. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 116. By the way, membership is a great way to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 700 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.